Hey, Brian. Um, I would say it was an efficient win. Could you? How much of this, I would say, was a professional win? You did what you had to do, uh, kept them coming back. And then if you could talk about the, la the last 10 minutes of, of your defense, how you defended the last 10 minutes and really closed out the game. Well, I don't... <laughs> I mean, look, Yamar, the guy was turning backwards on the PK. He never should have, you know, I know he was trying to clear it, but the guy was not facing the goal. He was never going to score a bicycle kick. And then the second goal, we gave them that goal. Uh, we're not pleased about that, Boz. But overall, what I want to say is I couldn't be prouder of that group of guys because they came back after a, you know, emotional loss put three goals in on the road, which is very challenging, especially when you go up one, they bring it back. You go up two, they bring it back. To find the third goal on the road, I mean, that's pretty impressive. That group of guys wanted to make a statement. They're feeling it. And the subs that came on did what they needed to do. Uh, De La Vega coming on, good, extended our possessions, Reed, okay, defending, Josh had a good game in there, Raul came and held the ball up, did exactly what we needed him in those moments, I mean, you win any game on the road in MLS, but you win three with three goals, that's a pretty good performance in my eyes. And just how important was it for that last 10 minutes for your team, because... You know, they played smart defense at the end. They controlled the ball. And well, we controlled the, the ball. Uh, we pressed higher up the field. We didn't let them just walk down the field. We didn't go in the back line of five. Reed was not was not the left wing back, in case you guys missed that. Uh, we wanted to stay in our back line of four, exactly how we drew it up. Those guys came through with a gutty performance. Thank you. Jeremiah. Yeah, uh, Brian, we had, I had asked you uh, the other day, yesterday, I guess, uh, about how you thought you managed this week in order to sort of balance the, the two games you have coming up. Now you have the first win. Do you feel like you – how do you feel now? Do you feel like you did a pretty good job of, of, of sort of splitting the difference in terms of focusing of course, on – Of course we did. I was able to get JP out of the game. We still won the game. I was able to rest a few other guys. I was able to get guys minutes. I thought it was great. Jada, go ahead and ask your question. Thank you. Um, thanks for the time, Brian. Is there at this moment, though, uh, anything that you're trying to do a little bit different to kind of bottle this up um, and take into that LAFC game? Uh, because the Pumas uh, match was, you know, also a really good one, a good performance. Um, and then obviously, you know, LAFC did did what they did. So is there a... Um, Jada, they, they passed the test. They could have come in here and laid an egg. They didn't. They came and scored an early goal. Jordan, great transition moment. We won the ball because we were pressing higher up the field. Homer away. We're going to press higher up the field. Obed slip pass. Excellent. That's why that kid has such a high ceiling. The second goal that Jackson scores, I mean, what a great header that was. What a great piece of technical skill. The ball was played across, but his ability to head the ball back across the goal into the far corner was exceptional. And then Albert scores the third goal, and he does that in practice all day long. He lets a guy come, he beats his guy, he lets a guy come, looks like he's going to shoot to the far post, but then he hits it at the near post. I mean, those were three great goals. And it's all credit to those guys in that locker room. Can you talk a little bit more about uh, Albert's goal? Because that was a little ISO kind of thing. Um, ISO, uh, I like the word. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it looked a little bit like that. Um, can you, are you on the sideline kind of thinking about the the fact that you've seen him do that before? Are you going through the, you know, the back and forth with him um, as he is toying with the defender to get there? Yeah. I mean, look, Lud slipped and he got past him. He took, got it on his preferred right foot. 
their defenders were too far inside the 18. I mean, look, Jada, we had some chances even before that. I mean, Jordan had a monster game today, not just because of the one goal, but in the second half, he could have scored the first half down on the left corner, him and Paul, some little give and goes. I mean, I thought that the team could have even had one more. Uh, I thought when Raul turned one time in midfield, he knew where the goalkeeper was. I thought he was going to try and chip the goalkeeper, but he found Jordan with a pass, which was the right decision. So Albert's goal was a technical and a veteran piece of play that we needed in that critical moment. All right, a reminder, media, if you'd like to ask a question, please use the hand raise function in Zoom. We'll go next to Marco from Area Sports Network. Uh, it looks to be our last hand up, but again, there's still some time if anybody would like to get in the queue. Marco, go ahead and ask your question now. No. I guess he doesn't like me. Can you hear me now? Yes. Oh, yes. okay. Yeah. All right. Computer's being wonky. Sorry about that. Um, just wanted to hear your overall thoughts on uh, Pedro's uh, performance today. Obviously, you know, with limited minutes, but just overall thoughts on his performance. Very good. So what I told him when he was going on the field, I said, look, Pedro, you need to find the ball because he is one of those players that once he has the ball at his feet, it's very hard to get it off him. It's very hard. He's a good dribbler. He's savvy. He understands certain angles and things. And he did exactly that. Some of the stuff that he did to relieve pressure because they were pressuring us after they scored 2-2. Game could have gone either way. But Pedro came in and did exactly what I asked him to do. And that was a bonus for us. It was great. Great to see him back. All right. Thank you. We'll go next to Felipe Makeda. Felipe, go ahead and ask your question. Thank you, Matt. Um, Coach Brian, uh, you just uh, talk about the team uh, passing the test, winning this game after the the loss against LAFC. Do you think that the team is mentally prepared to play against, of against course. LAFC? Of course. Yes, of course. That response, everybody can see it. So it, They're, it, ready. And it, They're ready. And this, this comes, uh, it is a mental uh, moment or this it has to do with the quality of the players that you have versus the quality of the players that LAFC has. We have good players, Felipe. I don't, I don't understand the question. We have very talented players. I think our team is very good on any given day. Okay, yes, you can say that LAFC, that's a fact. We haven't beaten them in a long stretch, but it's not necessarily the quality of our players. It's more the mentality that they seem to have us over us. Now, I could flip the script and tell you for a long time, Minnesota United, when they play the Seattle Sounders, they haven't beat us in a long time. So sometimes you have that little bit of stuff. I went back and, you know, I said this in the press the other day. For a long time when Ziggy was still a coach, it was the LA Galaxy that we couldn't get past. So there are certain moments... It was a time when we couldn't beat Portland. And now that's kind of changed. So we're going to win against LAFC at some point. And we are ready to make that first victory on Wednesday at Starfire. Thank you. Jeremiah, why don't you close us out? Jeremiah, are you there? Can't yep. hear him. Sorry. Yep. Sorry, there I am. Are you hearing me? Yep. I got you. Okay. Uh, Jordan passed Freddie for uh, second all time on the center scoring list. Uh, I don't know. Are you seeing a different kind of Jordan Morris this year uh, in terms of his his ability in front of goal, especially uh, on breakaways like like his score his goal today? Well, that's his bread and butter, Jeremiah. I mean, that first goal, what I loved about that was that he had the wherewithal to just clip the ball over the on-rushing goalkeeper. You know, you saw his power and pace on a couple other different movements. When I talked to Jordan this week about, you know, the week and the last games and, you know, the Open Cup, and I talked to all the players, uh, 
Jordan's comment to me was he wants to be more involved. He wants to be more of a real, true target striker where he can be involved in the buildup. And that's credit to him. And he's got to go out on the field, on the training field, and work on those things. But tonight was one of his classic performances. And it's credit to him for getting in the second place because Freddie Montero was a, is an, you know, is an icon of our club. One of the best goal scorers we've had at the club. So for him to surpass Freddie, that's a big milestone. So let's just see if Jordan sticks around for a few more years. Let's see how far he can get up the table. 